Alrighty everyone, um, today I am going to try a different type of video, um, I'm pretty sure the, uh, name on a roll has already been done by several different people. I am just going to go through a roll of Kodak Gold 200 that I took this past January. Um, I don't have any fucking B-roll of me just meandering out in public, um, because one, I don't have any decent video recording, and I also don't have any friends, and I figure it's probably not all that interesting to see me walk around in my pajamas taking photos with a heavy camera, so just the pictures and a little bit of commentary. So this is the number one. Um, I really like this one. Um, this is probably one of my favorite photographs that I've taken. I am a pretty big fan of um, like the bokeh sort of look, and I also really like hemlock trees. Um, there are some in my neighbor's lawn. This is in my neighbor's lawn. They were on vacation in North Carolina, so uh, I just walked around their woods because they couldn't fucking stop me. Um, I do like this picture. A little bit more close up. You can see some handy dandy bokeroonie over there. Um, I like the mixture of the roundish little bokeys with the, um, you know, sort of like round and then like the long things. Um, never mind the cat, he's fine. Um, he's just hella old. Um, so this is one of my favorites. Um, I've printed this one out. Uh, Currently, I haven't framed it, but I'm probably going to, like, frame print to this bad boy. And maybe put it in my living room? I'm not sure. Possibly, like, the spare room. Um, this is photo number two. It looks pretty much the fucking same as the last one. Um, except I'd probably say that the composition is quite different. Um, when I scanned this one, it was rather light. Um, so this photo has been edited considerably in Photoshop. Um, you can see like these rather dark green areas. Ooh, that's pixely. Um, these rather dark green areas um, like there and there. Um, I probably went a little too hard on the levels tool. Um, this one I'm probably gonna upload to like Redbubble or something just because I feel like Redbubble is the type of thing where like if you want your stuff to like sell it has to look a little digitally. Um, so I don't think that I would, like, post film photos that look very, like, filmy on it. I feel like this photo looks kind of digital. Um, this is another one, um, the original scan, uh, because I have a cheap scanner that I bought for, like, 20 bucks on eBay, secondhand. I do like this photo because there is some handy little bokey. I have no idea what this is. I think that might be a fingerprint. Um, because I'm a fucking idiot. Uh, so yeah. The little bogey over here. I like how it's nice and sharp down the middle. I like the way that the sunlight sort of peeks through there. I wish I'd gotten it a little bit better, but hey, what can you do in January in upstate New York? This is another one. Um, not too fucking impressed with this one, to be honest with y'all, but, uh, you know, I ain't mad at it. It's okay. Um, this did not turn out great. Um... Probably because I was using, like, a 400 speed. No, fuck. I was using a 200 speed film. Obviously, because that's in the file name. Um, fuck. Uh, yeah, I didn't script this out. So this one I edited quite heavily. Um, as you can see in the edit, I cropped it. Um, sort of, you know, made it look a little bit better. A little less uh, washed out. This one I just like. I really, really like um, the bittersweet branches um, that you see in like winter and very early spring when there is still still snow on the ground. Meow. Um. Yeah, he's a sassy boy. Um, I like it because like you see the snow and yes, bud. You see the snow and it really makes like the red berries and like the bittersweet trees and vines or whatever. It just really shows up a lot in the winter and I just love the way that it looks in photos. Um, so I have a lot of photos of this stuff. 
Um, this one, again, didn't totally fucking nail the exposure. Um, this is the edited version. Um, let's see. Yeah, so I definitely think that, like, I like photographing dead grass and stuff. Kind of wish I'd gotten a little more on the bokeh rooney over there. Um, but, you know. This one I quite like. Um, I think the texture got grabbed pretty damn good by the lens on my camera. I should probably buy, yes, I should probably buy a um, different lens for my SLR. Um, I just kind of got one on eBay um, for $20, a reoccurring theme in my life, and it kind of just came with whatever fucking lens the owner bought for it. I guess it's like like, the max aperture is, like, four-ish or something? I don't know. I think it might be less than that. More than that. Okay. Like, a two or whatever. Um, I'm not really sure. It's, like, an adjustable little thing Um, I should probably get, like... I really want to get, like, a lens with a higher aperture because I like doing that close-up with a bokeh in the background. It's a, uh... It's my basic bitch type, uh, aesthetic. Um, here we have this photo. Not too impressed with this one. Um, as you can see, I don't always nail it um, in regards to film. And unfortunately, um, even though I have an SLR, sometimes you just don't know until you get it back and you're like, meh. So, it is what it is. I mean, it's like a fucking 36 exposures on a roll. Like, I, I get most of them. Most of the time. Um... This one I, is the edited one. Um, I wanted to make this one look a little bit more suitable for selling prints of. I think when I upload it online to whatever, I'm probably going to edit it a little bit more, maybe crop it down. Um, this is one that I rather like seeing the shrivelly doodads up in there and the little shrivelly bittersweets. Um, this guy... Okay, as you can see, um, editing photos digitally, um, just to sort of, like, bring out some of that handy little detail, um, that is there. I kind of feel like a lot of my photos could be- could have benefited from a scanner that didn't do all this fucking bullshit, or rather, my gross fucking dirty hands touching the negatives, even though I wash my hands, like, 20 times, and that's life. Okay. So, as you can see, like, this is the edited version. Um, this one I quite enjoy. I did edit the saturation of certain colors. Um, usually when I like editing photos in Photoshop, I like going through saturation, and what I like to do is I like to desaturate, um, the colors and darken them. Um, like the greens and the blues, I sort of, like, darken them a little bit, and then with the reds, I just sort of left them the same. Um, just sort of, like, bring up the visual contrast in the image, make it a little bit more striking, perhaps a little bit easier to sell on the internet. Um, definitely gonna upload this one to, like, Redbubble. Um, I've also thought of, like, joining Zazzle. Generally, what I like doing is I like putting my nature photos and just, like, selling them as greeting cards or whatever. This is another one that I quite like, um... I feel like the composition could be a little handy more zoomed in, um, just on the bittersweet, um, but I do like little swirly doodads and how you, like, see, like, all the jumbly stuff in the, in the foreground and then gets a little blurred in the background, like, you see that over here and then, like, these are kind of fucked up and blurry and, you know, depth of field. Um, this is a dead plant. Um, it was sitting out in front of my house for months, and I'm like, oh man, that looks really fucking cool. I love the look of this hideous dead plant. I think it has a neat shape. And when I photographed it, eh. <laughs> Um, this is just a stupid-ass photo of an abandoned building down the road. Um, here's some little lichens. I love a good little lichen. Um, I think they're really cool. Um... I like them because they remind me of roses, um, so you kind of, like, see them on the trees here during the winter, and you see them with, like, their pale greens and their gray colors, and I kind of feel like they're nice little desaturated roses. Um, I really, really, really like this picture. Um, this is another one that I have printed out. 
I'm probably gonna like frame it in my house or whatever. Here's a nice little close-up of some lichen pals. I enjoy these little guys. I think that they are very cute. Oops, don't want to do that. Okay. So I really do like the um, lichens, as one does. Alright, let's see a little bit of... There are a lot of different species of lichens. I think my favorites are probably like these little guys. Um, I, know, I just like how they branch out. They look a little bit like coral. Um, I also like, like the deep tones of the moss. Here is the same lichens. I do quite en enjoy them. As you can think, I'm really liking the texture on these bad boys. Let's see. Um, a little less close up. There's a bit of a fence in the background. Um, 